What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rick and today I bring you guys a little bit of tips and tricks video. Uh, a lot lately people have been asking me, hey Inc, how do you get good at Fortnite, how do you play aggressive, how do you average between 15 to 18 kills a game, how do you make most out of the game, which weapon should you use, how should you build, and all that stuff. So I want to discover out how can you just be a basic and a, from basic to a good player. So I see a lot of noobs, or not noobs, but new players. And they don't build, they don't know which weapon to use, they think they can use a Golden Scar is better than a Bloom 16 for example, which it is when you think about it, but there's different playstyles with every gun in the game. Um, so weapons, what I would use is get used to the pump, really get used to the pump and try and hit headshot with the pump. That is so insane, if you had a headshot with the pump, you can do 200 damage, and that's absolutely insane. If you do 200 damage, you take the shield and the health, they're just down with an instant. If you hit a body shot, I would then recommend having a attack shotgun as a secondary so you shoot one with the pump then you shoot another time with the attack and if that doesn't kill him make sure to shoot another time with the attack then switch to your pump that's the new way you can double pump so you shoot once with the uh, pump twice with the attack and then you do the same thing over and over again for the effective double pump that would kill him if you miss a lot of shots or if this guy had a lot of shield or if there's just multiple people and then it's the other thing should you use scar or an m16 so see there's not much difference between the uh, purple scar and the legendary scar it's just not uh, different in, at all I think it's like five six damage which will help you you don't need to take four shots it's just three shots uh, but there's a difference between the scar and the m16 in general the m16 is better on movement you can run around you can stay for it it's more accurate when you move and jump so it's a lot better using if you like to rush uh, but the scar is better against buildings and shield it will kill people easier if they have a shield or if they're inside a base Or if you're shooting people from a long range It's a little bit less accurate, but it does more damage and when it actually hit it hits hard uh, And so on you could also use the burst. I would not recommend using the green or the just common burst I would then use the um, blue burst. The blue burst can do 196 damage I think to the head if you hit the complete burst in the head on a guy that is like almost one shot and then you just need to hit him in the foot with it, like a burst or one of the bullets on your burst. So the burst is a little bit more difficult to use, but if you can use it and if you get used to it, you can be a deadly player on the field and you should be fairing a guy who has the burst. So I would also recommend going with a pump. As I said, a pump is always good to have. That is one shot uh, potential. And if you don't get a one shot, well, at least do like 100 damage on him. Then switch to your attack or your assault rifle is a good option. It's a really easy way to just get good. Uh, good damage on people and so on. I do that all the time. It works brilliant. You just shoot get, shoot it once with the pump and then switch to your other weapon, either that's shotgun, pistol, or a uh, assault rifle. So that's pretty decent uh, damage, or it's actually amazing damage if you think about it. Uh, I see a lot of people try to just build this advanced stuff when they're rushing people. Uh, I always rush, and this is about how it could be a good rusher because rushing is better than defending. It is easier to kill a guy when you're rushing than defending because most people don't think they're going to get rushed. So, rushing people is definitely something I would get used to because people don't expect it and it's an easy way to get a drop on people. Uh, don't be camping and sitting in a bush or sneaking around a mountain. It does work if you want to play a casual way, um, but it doesn't help you get good and so on. So, rushing is something that you should practice and just get good at. So, when you're rushing a guy, if he has a 1x1 one one box and it's too high, uh, the way you could rush him is just not by building walls, you build ramps and you just build one ramp, two ramps and then you just build the ramps to just cover yourself and once you get close to him you build a ramp that's two stories high so you can jump on in his box or get a headshot on him uh, or maybe he'll just even jump out of the one by one cause they just get scared basically. Uh, so I do that or just you know try and just get higher ground, higher ground is always nice to do. You make sure to do it quick because you are rushing as I said. I see a lot of people and uh, let's take this for example. I see Alex Fermi Gaming when he plays like I don't have anything against him but I don't like his playstyle. That's just preferences basically. Uh, when he plays he lands like Lonely Lodge, he lands like places where there's only two houses to loot which is fine if you really it's that desperate to win and you barely get like 10 kills each game or 8 kills each game. If you really want to play that way sure you can play that way. It doesn't help you get a good player, but it helps you get, you know, good stats, but it doesn't help you to get, you know, if you play squad, that's not going to help you at all. Squad is all about rushing and being the most effective player on the field. Uh, if you just land, for example, only large and you get one kill lonely large and you get five, six kills in the mid game, you have eight kills at a solo. I say that's decent, but you're not learning much and you're not getting better, basically. You're just playing really, really slow and you should try and challenge yourself. That is the only way to get good. Uh, so I would recommend at least to just learn the game and get better aim, get better reaction time, uh, get better to building in you know close areas when you're getting shot at. Land for something with retail, greasy, 
Tilted you can land, but that's a little bit of hectic, the frame rate drops and so on, so it's a little bit more luck factor in there as well. But try to land like Retail, Greasy, Pleasant Park, Anarchy Acres, or Fatal Fields. Those are the best places to land, there's always people landing there, you can practice your aim, you can get better, you can kill people, get more kills, get more XP, and be more effective and learn how to kill people. Another thing you should do is try to play Solo Squad. Solo Squad will definitely learn you a lot, because then you know how to kill different people and kill more people in a really quick time that will also help you get more xp if you're after that um you also get better when you're playing with squad because you will learn how to be self-sufficient the people i play with i make sure that they know how to play like i can land one place and i can land another place like say we're landing retail i can land with the stores and they can land down with the houses and they can still survive if a, sol a full squad uh, attack them and i can do the same that is how you get a lot of kills a game you can get like a 50 kill game as a squad if you do that and like everybody can do that that's pretty good as well uh, as I said try to get used to weapons know what to carry as well I see a lot of people carry chug I don't really carry chug a lot if I get a chug I just use it there's just no point using chug in a battle um, even shields if so are not that great either so I would try to have mini shields they're quick to get on they heal a decent amount of shield up and they're just easy to use in a battle and it's just easy to just get the shield up and if you peek and get shot just peek down again uh, swallow a couple shields then pick again and then do the same if you get shot that's a good way to just get in to the battle and just get out of another battle really really quick uh, this is for console players at least for PC players it's a little bit different I play on PC um, PC I wouldn't say it's easier but I would say it's easier in, to build and attack at the same time because uh, on uh, console I'm a mainly console player but if you want to be a good builder you'd need to have the building button layout and if you want to be a good combat player you need to have the button layout to switch your weapons faster which you can't do when you have the building because that'll help you build quicker but it'll only help you uh, be a better in combat with the button layouts you got so i would definitely recommend playing on combat pro my sensitivity is 10 out of 10 i would recommend 7 or 6 that's the best sensitivity i see most people are using you can turn quickly and you have the precise aim as well so that's also something to keep in mind uh, a good player is also somebody who can communicate with players, so I would also try and play with the same players over and over again. And once you play with the same team, like I've said, like a week or two, and you know how to communicate, you have good chemistry and all that, try to play with random people. It's always nice playing with other people that you haven't played with, learn their way, learn from other people. Uh, watch streamers, watch YouTubers, watch guides like this, for example. Uh, you can watch me stream, you can ask me a question, for example. What, what would you do in this situation? I can then give you my point of view of it. Maybe it'll help you, maybe it won't. You never know, some people prefer this, some people prefer that. But remember, aggression and momentum is key. People don't expect you to be an aggressive player, especially not in mid-game. They do in early game and sometimes in late game, but mid-game is when it really comes into power play to be aggressive. Rush people, use grenades when you can. If you have grenades, just throw grenades on your base while you're rushing. Never stand still, never camp. Or you can't camp i'm not saying that camping won't get you anywhere but try to play as much aggressive as possible that would get you a better player you would learn to think under the move you would think to like how to build better how to rush people while you're building how to rush people that is has a big fortress for example that is something that a lot of people panic they see a guy build a big fortress and they're just like what am i supposed to do um i don't really use uh explosives it's just something that I never felt the need for. I really have just have like an assault rifle, two shotguns, and then I have like a med kit or like shields, or I just ha don't have a med kit and I have a sniper. It depends what game I'm playing. You de need to adapt to the game you're playing. I'm gonna make a video someday of the best weapon loadouts. I can show you guys what weapon loads I like to use. I'll do that after the Easter because I'm on a holiday right now making this video. Uh, but yeah, this is just how to get better, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, and if you want to see more guys like this, let me know in the description below. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Take care.